hello all welcome back in this task we are going to create the model so in this task mainly we are going to use a library called team so in the team library or package there are plethora of computer vision models or cnn models and uh, all of the models are state of the art so in this task we are going to use efficient net b0 model so let's start so first of all we are going to run this cell and let's name the class name as object local model and we are going to inherit the nn module so nn module firstly okay i was accidentally ruined the cell okay so the first is the init method okay now inside super we are going to mention the class name comma self so these are some formalities that we usually do when we create the model in the pytorch okay now self dot backbone equals to team dot create model now here we are going to pass the model name which we have already mentioned in the configuration task that is the efficient at b0 we are going to initialize the weights of pre-trained and num classes that is the output nodes is going to be 4 because we want the 4 values that is the x main y main and uh, x max y max now one thing to note here if you are using team package for the first time the team package every model in the team package mostly output the logits that are outputs without any softmax or sigmoid activation so we are getting the logits here okay define forward self comma images comma ground truth boxes default is going to be none okay now we will get the logits then we will pass the images inside the backbone or model so images now if gt boxes gt bounding boxes that is the ground truth bounding boxes does not equals to none then we are going to return the loss and the logic so loss equals to here we will use the mean squared error so msc loss okay In which we are going to pass our logits that are the predicted bounding boxes and ground truth okay uh, let's name this as bounding boxes it will make more sense okay and we will return the bounding boxes and loss else we will just return the bounding boxes okay so far so good let's run this cell 
now model equals to object localization model model so here we are going to transfer our model to the gpu device that is the cuda so model dot to device let's run this up. okay so model weights are downloading so this will take some time around two to three minutes i think so okay that was quick so you can see the architecture here now if you want to remove this architecture you can just put the semicolon here and let's run this cell again okay now if you want to see what its output output shape so let's just take one random image equals to torch dot brand and this is going to be of shape 1 comma 140 1 comma 3 comma 140 comma 140 here 1 is the bed size 3 is the number of channel and then height and width and we are going to transfer this to the gpu okay so model of random niche dot shape so we are getting our bounding box output shape okay so in this task we have successfully created the model in the next task we are going to write the training and the evaluator function which are going to be very useful in order to complete the training loop so see you in the next task hello all in this task we are going to write the training and the evaluator function now both of these functions are going to be very useful in the training loop task in order to complete the training loop so let's first start with the train function so define train function now this function is going to take model data loader and optimizer okay now firstly but total loss initially is going to be zero and here we are going to specify that model should be in the training mode now this is because when model will be in the training mode or uh, if it is doing any gradient computation so at that time the dropout layer should be on so this is some indication that the model should be on the training mode okay now for data in data loader okay let's also put here tqdm in order to track the patches or the loop tqdm now unpack the data in order to get the images and the ground truth bounding boxes images and the ground truth bounding boxes equals to data now we are going to move our images and the bounding boxes to the gpu device so images comma ground truth bounding boxes equals to images dot to device comma ground truth bounding boxes dot to device okay now bounding boxes comma loss when we will pass our image this and ground truth bounding boxes to the model so we will get the predicted bounding boxes and loss now here we are going to do the gradient computation steps so uh, firstly we are going to mention 
optimizer zero grade is going to be zero. Now loss dot backward will find the gradients and optimizer dot step will update the weights and the biases that is the parameters of the model okay and we are going to sum up all of the losses total losses so total loss assignment operator loss dot item so every batch loss will be in the total loss okay and uh, finally we are going to return the average loss so total loss divided by length of beta loader okay let's run this cell now we are going to create the eval function so let's just copy this train function inside the eval function there is not going to be any gradient computation step or updatation of gradients or parameters okay so in the eval function we do not need any optimizer also here instead of train we are going to specify eval in order to off the dropout okay eval function okay so far so good one thing that you can also do here is you can also mention with torch dot no grade in order to be sure that there should be no gradient computation inside the eval function okay so far so good let's also run this cell so we have successfully created the train function and the eval function now both of these functions are going to be very useful in the training loop task so see you in the next task